the little kid inside of me is getting to me. Yep. Some closed roads. Woo! Right now, I'm currently making my own little version of a daily planner that kind of has everything that I would need. Uh, I've been using just notebooks, and I'm going to continue doing that. But I've been kind of back and forth to the point where it gets confusing after a point, or I'll run out of room for a certain section, and then I will kind of just have to make a new notebook, or I'll have to rip out pages, and it's just annoying. And I finally got to the point where I kind of know what I want, so I'm going to start doing that. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to have a day planner up front. The day plan is going to start off with a page that has basically what I have to do for the month. It's going to have my bills and the dates that I have to pay them. And it's also going to have the days of the week and what workouts I'm supposed to be doing that day. I'm going to actually break it down to what I should be doing at what times, whether it be working or whatnot. And that's going to be the front page. And then the following pages of the day plan are going to have basically my debit card expenses per day. It's also going to have check boxes of whether or not I actually do my workouts. That way I can keep track of if I'm doing them and what days I'm missing. That way in the future I can look back and see what I need to do differently, whether it be not scheduling workouts on a certain day because I never get to it or what have you. Also, actually, I, I'm just now thinking about it, but I might also put like what I'm eating that day as I eat it. That way in the future I can look back and see what I'm actually eating and what I can purchase big bundles of and eat more of and what I shouldn't be eating and kind of just condense my food down to where it's cheaper and better food because as you know I have stomach issues I have irritable bowel syndrome so I have to eat certain things so a food is a big control in my life that I need to work on and then for the most part that's what the day plan is going to have and then towards the back of the book I'm going to have uh, like five pages for each of these sections one section be videos that I want to make that way I don't forget um things that I need to do on certain times that way I keep it all in one section whether it be dentist appointments that I want to have in the future or orthodontist appointments that I need or anything of the sort it could even be like getting glasses or filling out paperwork for something just anything I, that I want to remember that I'm gonna have to do also I'm gonna want a section that has things that I need to buy, whether it be subwoofers, things that I want, or things that I absolutely need, like glasses. I kinda wanna just have everything in one section, that way I remember everything easily, and it kinda keeps me looking at my goals. I'm someone that very easily gets distracted from his goals, and I'm trying to do everything I can to form habits to where I don't do that anymore. And then that's going to leave a lot of pages for both the day plan and if I want to incorporate any other sections in the future that would help me, I can just easily put another tab in. And then basically that's going to be my plan. That's going to be the first draft. And then if I want to change anything, I'll do that. Uh, it's just going to be on a notebook so I can rip the pages out if I don't want them or as I go, I'll just kind of figure out that. And then I'm hoping once I actually get one that I want completely, I'm going to put it on. An actual composition book that way I can uh, keep it for my records forever because notebooks just turn to trash after a while so I'm gonna get started I actually got the first tab in so I'm gonna have to go to the back of the book and then I'm gonna count five pages and then I'm put the rest I basically don't try to buy anything that I don't need so this is all stuff that I had uh, this is actually a notebook that I had in school uh, you can actually see formulas on the front page still that I haven't erased. Um, so this is actually 10 pages back. I need to go five more. Two, three, four, five. And then this is where I'm gonna put my first tab and then I'm gonna flip five and put my second tab. I'm just using a cut out note sticky pad. I'm gonna put the sticky pad on and then I'm gonna fold it over and then I'm gonna put tape on it so that it uh, stays a lot better. I'm gonna write exactly what each note is. I'm not gonna have it to where you can see it when the book is closed because I'm gonna know it so well that that's not necessary, but if that is necessary for you, then put the tab extra long so you can write on it or make it to where you can tear them off and put new ones if you need to. 
So basically the very front tab stops at the very top line. So I wanna make sure to put this one just under that. That way it kind of flows nice and well. Uh, and then I'm gonna flip five pages, put the second one, and then I'm gonna keep going to the end, and then I'm gonna cut it out and fold it over and tape it. So I'm just gonna cut along with scissors to have it match this tab. What I'm doing now is folding each tab down. I'm gonna fold it down from the corners, just like that, to where it's flat against the paper. And then I'm gonna fold it over towards about the same width of the tape that I'm using. That way it stays nice and well. Suits my needs perfectly. I definitely knew that was gonna happen. I could hear the shower going on morning and it got cold. Miserable shower. It's snowing! I am currently heading home. Not really, uh, my old home though. Actually where I went to high school and most of middle school. I'm, I'm actually going there to visit uh, one of my friend's parents. Uh, my best friend actually passed away uh, not too long after I graduated from high school just before I was going into college. So it was uh, really hard and I was really close with his family. So he had a kid and everything and they have him right now. So I'm gonna go visit uh, little Eli and his grandparents and see how they've been doing. I haven't seen them for a long time because I've kind of been neglecting doing it because of reasons I've kind of been saying here and there. But I'm gonna go see how that goes. Hopefully they're not too busy. I might be talking to them about a third job actually. So we'll see about that. I'm kind of nervous, but a third job, I don't know, makes me sound like a pimp. No, not really. Um, a third job will be, I don't know, it'll show me what I can really do and achieve. I need to see that for myself if I'm able to do that or if I would fail. I honestly really, I, I, I hope that I can pull it off so that I can show myself that I can do anything, actually. I'm gonna go down there right now and, uh, I'll be posting some videos. Hopefully I'll get hit some logging roads because it's down in the sticks. I'm gonna stop driving and texting, or I'm gonna stop videoing and driving. I'm sure that's just as illegal as texting and driving uh, on the road. And the snow has finally changed to rain. Good old Washington. I'm literally right by nuke sites which uh, they supposedly used in one of the Transformer movies. Although when I watched the movie, I never actually saw it, so I don't know if it ended up getting deleted or whatnot. But I know that Bumblebee was in town. That, that is a fact. Bumblebee was in town and some of my friends did see the car, but they didn't actually see anyone famous, I don't think. It's actually super cool. If you go on YouTube, you can actually watch videos of people uh, parachuting or something or other in there. there. It's actually just hollow on the inside and you can see all the way to the ground. It's pretty cool. I've never actually been up there, but that'd be pretty awesome. Let's go up there tonight. Woo! Nothing's here. There's no zombies on their bed. Zombies are not real. Are really? I'm gonna go under my bed with ya. All right, let's go. Let's hide from the dinosaurs. Get under there, let's go. Dinosaurs do not be in this trap. I can't fit under the bed. I won't make it. I want all my toys out of business. They looks like a pretty live snake to me. I know, it's this Braxton's toy. Eli, that is not a toy and you need to dispose of it. <laughs> no. It's gonna get you. Yeah. As long as it gets you and not me, I'm fine. Yeah! <laughs> you see Stop it? it? You see the spider? Stop ah! it! And I know where the snake is. Snake. 
snake disappeared. We'll need to get this. The snake's right there! Oh! Please don't give it to me! Stop! I don't want to